to help students to understand better for the concept of the grade 5 music theory, you can feel free to visit our website melodiospianostudio.com and go to uh, the menu ABRSM theory and from there you could see all the handouts over here and some of the what's covered in the ABRSM grade 5 and you could see those handout that I share in YouTube and feel free that you can have a look and download it and this is for you to prepare better in your theory exam and today we are going to uh, have a walk through about the music theory practice paper 2021 paper B and from this YouTube uh, tutorial you can find all the questions with explanation now let's look at the question 1.1 circle the correct time signature for each of these bars we have the starting is uh, the triplets followed by four semiquavers let's group it together this is like one group as they beam together and this is like one group so we kind of know that this is like a crochet grouping and followed by this is also another crochet grouping so now what is triplets triplet it means that three notes or rest in the time of two you play in the time of two so we have three crochets we just have to take consider these three crochets play in the time of two crochets so we just treat it like a two crochets the value itself so we have one two three four four crochets so four crochet it means four 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 crochet you have another name which is c c for common time common time signature is 4-4 four, four. question B let's group it together you have this group together you have this group together and you have somewhere about here group it together look at, like the first one you have three quavers so we have mentioned before when you have three quavers For the question B, when you have three quavers, they have some dotted rhythm inside with a dot and a short line here. You almost can ignore, like because they cancel of each other, the value itself is like playing three quavers. Just consider as three quavers. So we have three quavers. They group as three quavers. Yes. So the grouping we understand is three quavers. So three quavers is dotted crochet. Okay. How about tuplet? Tuplet it means two notes rest in the time of three. And oppositely for triplets, you add one more note, the value itself. So two quavers means that you will play the value of three quavers. You will add one more quavers in between the value itself. So it's like you treat it like three quavers. So you have another group of three quavers. Follow, you have one quaver. You have one quaver. And these two is equal to one quiver. So you have another groups of three quivers. So you have a total of one group, two groups, three groups. And you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine quivers. Nine quivers is gives you nine eight. The next question, question C. Let's group it together. We can group in this way. This is one group. Yes. And followed by this is one group. This is one group. Yes, roughly we can tell that it's grouped like a crochet. Yes, it's grouped like a crochet. This is one crochet. 
triplets, triplets, three notes in a time of two notes. So this is another crochet. This is another crochet. And this one is another crochet. And you have a crochet here. A dot is a quaver. A quaver and a quaver rest is another crochet. So let's count how many crochets we have. One, two, three, four, five, six. We have six crochets. The answer is six, four. Six, four is six crochets. For the question 1.2, here is a bar in compound time. You have to change to simple time. So what's the formula from compound time to simple time? Use the formula divide by 3, divide by 2. So 6, 8, divide by 3, divide by 2, you got 2, 4. So in other words, you can try to think that 6, 8 is 6 quaver. You have two groups. So this is the first group. This is the second group. So two dotted crochet, you have to change to two crochet. Okay. And now, which following is correct? These two, this one is not correct because we are looking for two, four. Yes, this is correct and this is correct. So when we have the first group, three quivers, can we do we want to change it into simple time we have to put the triplets on top yes so it become two quavers so we have a duplet as we discussed just now this duplet is the two notes in the time of three notes this is equal to three quavers we want to change it to one crochet so for the duplet what we have to do is we remove the two, it will become one crochet bit. Yes, this is the one. Yes, remove the two. So the answer is the second one. For the question 1.3, the student required to complete following two sentences and by adding a number to each. 616, we know when the bottom number is 16, it means um, semi quiver. When the number is four, is crochet. When the number is eight, is quiver. When the bottom number is sixteen, it means that semi quiver. So we have six sixteen. We have six semi quiver, and we know every three of them is equal to one dotted. Quaver. So there are how many dotted quaver bits in a bar? There are two. In three, two. Three, two is three meaning. When the bottom number is two, it means meaning. Three is the number. So we have three meaning. This triplet is equal to how many meaning bits? As we discussed, triplet it means three notes in the time of two notes. Okay, you have this is the time that we don't have equal value. So what we can do is we can change them to equal value. So this is one bit. This is another one bit. This is another one bit. So from the picture we can see, actually it's just have three crochets. One, two, three. One, this is two, this is three. So you can see it's three crochets. In the time of two notes, so when you consider um, three notes in the triplets you just consider two notes value so it's equal to two crochet so it's equal to how many minim so you have to convert this to a minim how many minim is one minim bits for the question 1.4 the student need to tick one box to show which bar is grouped currently 
before we know how what's the answer we need to understand nine eight there are how many groups in nine eight nine eight as we mentioned before when the bottom number is eight it means quaver there are nine quavers so every three quavers form a dotted crochet so you know that every three quavers is equal to one dotted crochet so you have three groups this is what we need to know so as we mentioned before the grouping is like they beam it together okay so this one is means one group this one they tell you is one group this is one group this is one group and this is one group okay. by looking at this way very quickly we know that the first one you have one quiver you have one quiver you have one quiver but you have an extra dot which is a semi quiver the grouping is not correct it's more than three quivers because of this so it's not correct and now you have a quiver quiver the dot is half of the quiver is semi quiver it's not even enough three quivers no following by the next one as we mentioned before you have three quivers when you have a dot that rhythm it was almost like cancel of each other yes this is one group you have these two quivers is equal to one quiver one two and three yes this is another group look they are grouped by together yes this is one group one group and you have a one and a half which is equal to a dotted crochet is another group there are three groups so the answer is the third one for the question 1.5 the student require to um, show whether the rest are correct or incorrect first thing go back to the uh, time signature three four three four it means three crochet so the bottom number four it means crochet so the first one you have one quiver and this is another quiver 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 this is already a crochet yes so this is another crochet a quiver with a quiver rest following by the next one let's see you already have a semi quiver so the next you should finish the half of it which is a semi quiver followed by a quiver so it means these two you should do the semi quiver so these two could become a quiver and this one should be a quiver so this question is the order of the rest is not correct wrong so in other words this part it should be written in this way because you already have a semi quiver you need to have a semi quiver rest to complete the half first followed by a quiver rest this is correct but Whereas when the answer give us is a quaver and then you have this is not correct because of the order of the rest is not correct. Continue with the next one. This is a double, double dot, the value, the rhythm. So double dot, it means a crochet followed by a dot and a dot. It means a crochet plus a quaver half of this and another dot is half of this which is semi quiver so we know that we already have one same thing go to the rule that we do just now you already have a quiver you have a semi quiver the next one it should be followed by a semi quiver yes this is correct so from here to here is correct so this is one this one is another group you have 
four semi quiver 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 this is another group yes so you have three crochet that's correct the last one you have a quiver you have a quiver you must complete it as another quiver rest because you have you have the grouping of three crochet you must complete with this whereas this question give us one and a half is not correct you should have a quiver so to complete the one and you have a crochet you have another group and you have another group so for the third one the mistake is they're trying to combine these two become one and half the mistake is you should have to split it up be, be, uh, become a quiver rest and a crochet rest for the question 2.1 the student required to know how to read the autoclave autoclave it gives you a middle C starting in the middle line. This is the middle C. So we can go line, space, line, space, going downwards until you find this node. So line, space. When you have not enough line, you just do here and you see a dotted line. It means in this way if, uh, in other words if you have more nodes to go down in ledger line ledger line means this extra line this is called ledger line if you have more nodes you just go further line space and line yeah now you have two lines in space you have two lines just treat it like um invisible dotted line so here you can come c b a g f e d the answer is d question 2.2 take one box to show the correct and harmonic equivalent and harmonic equivalent it means um, the key same key same pitch with different name different name for example you have this bass clef and this is G double sharp so G double sharp when you have the X it means double sharp when you have double flat this is the symbol of double flat so you have double sharp G is over here double sharp sharp and sharp again so this is G sharp so G sharp try to find the neighbor of it it is a note or it's a B double flat so in this case you have a G sharp double sharp the answer is B double flat this is correct answer the first one for question 2.3 is about transposition the first thing we look into the instructions so we need to know the direction is transposed up okay so in this case we have this and transpose up to minor third minor third give us three semitones that is what we need to know for now so the first step now you have a b flat so the question is how do we know from a b flat go to four flats so we need to know b flat is the the key signature of b flat is f major so b flat is give you f major so we are going up three steps okay so always think that this means three steps so f count one two three 
and now count three semitones starting from F. Zero, one, two, three. Stop here. So what is this? This you have to name it as the A what? Because your last note just now stopped at the A. So it's an A flat. Yes, A flat major. So from an F major, go to A flat major. A flat major give you four flats. The answer is correct. Next one. A to C. So let's count three steps. A, one, two, three. Now you count three semitones. Zero, one, two, three. It gives you C. It's correct. Followed by the next one. F. F. Is here F go up three step F G A, but here go to G. It just give you one step up second F to G. So F to G it give you only second. You need third. So this is not correct. Next one, C sharp to E sharp. So we have a C note is here. One two three. Then you count three semitones. Zero, one, two, three. Stop. It gives you E what? You have to name this as E because the third note is the E. You name as E flat but not E sharp. It's not correct. The next one, D. It's the D note. Yes. Let's check out D note. D note is over here. D, count three step one two three, and now count three semitone. Zero one two three. It gives you F. That's correct. For this question two point four, the student required to compare these three bars, and are they comparing? Are they the same pitch? So we have the bass clef. We see the bass clef, like a thing like a king. The king has a crown on top of his head. So the king has a crown on top of his head. And auto clef, you have the middle C. So this is the middle C itself. So auto clef, you have a middle C here. So this is something higher middle C, like a treble C. So for treble clef you have uh, middle c is here try to think the queen is wearing a crystal shoes at the bottom yeah so this is the crystal shoe and you have the c here this is the treble c and you have a high c higher so it's two octaves higher than the middle c for example it means this is middle C. For the question A, is on the middle C. For the question B, is one octave higher than middle C. This is question B. So it's one octave higher. So for question C, is two octaves higher. You have treble C, and one more step up to a high C. This is a question C. So from this chart, it's very quickly we can answer the question. It's very easy. A and B are the same pitch. No, it's false. A is one octave lower than C. No, it's two octaves lower. So that's false. B is one octave lower than C. B is one octave lower than C. It's true. So that's the answer. For the question 3.1 is you have to know how do you draw the key signature. 
so we know that all the sharps for the sharps part all are grouped in this way like two three one two three one two three one except the auto tenor clef is in this grouping so we can uh, a quick uh, like quick check the first one treble clef two three two three but the three the shape yeah okay and later we'll come back it has a little bit mistake over here if you can see continue with it mm. next one auto clef two three is not correct because it's give you three two so this is not correct okay so next one uh ten clef it gives you like the shape going up yeah at a quick like check it's correct and the base clef two three two three you should have the third one go down but not go up this one should be go down so using the way of elimination this two wrong so we only have the treble clef the treble clef just now when i check on it f sharp and c sharp these two must correct okay followed by f go up g c go up to the d so you know the, the order of the sharp is like f fat cat go down n so you have the first sharp f sharp you must correct so you can go to the g c you must correct you can go to the d so now the problem is this two if you can see this one is the c sharp again it's not the d sharp so that's strong so you only left the last one is correct the answer is the last uh is the tenor clef continue with the next question it's about flat flat is very straightforward because you have all the flat with this shape three and three 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 if flat minor you have all the six flat okay at the glance this is correct oh this is like very out this is not correct and this one is not correct. Look, the, the order you can see, there's something very weird over here. It's not correct. If you can see, it must go step by step wise. So this is not correct. For the treble clef, it's even not correct. Look, the shape of it is so out. Three and three is like so weird to have this part. So this is not correct. The answer is the base clef. You can see it goes step by step. Space, line, space, line, space, line to help you to check the answer correctly. For this question, students require to circle the correct keys according to the accidental in the melodies. So what we can do is we write down uh, those accidentals. Treble clef, this is A flat, G flat, you have E flat, D flat, E flat, you have a repeated one, so you don't have to write, and this is A flat, you have a repeated one. So you have the first, you have the first, you know, the, the order of the flat, it has to be go by the order B, E, a d g so you don't have the very first flat but there is e flat a flat d flat and g flat so it could be because there is no there is no b flat notes so from here you can check the chart here five flat you can go to the d flat major yeah that's the answer for the D-flat major. <clears throat> Question B. Write down the sharp. You have the F-sharp and the D-sharp. We know the very first sharp is F-sharp. 
The second sharp is should be the C sharp, but there is no C sharp. Okay, but it goes to the D sharp. So you can think that this could be the seven note. So let's say we go to the F sharp and try to think the minor key E minor. So the seven note of the E is the D. E, F, G, A, B, C, D, D note. So here, so the answer is E minor. Question C, write down the letter name. That's the D flat, E flat, and A flat. Again, we come to the question that the very first flat is always the B flat and now we have B we don't have a B but we have an E we have an A we have a D so you could think that either this B flat already raised it up become a natural or because there is no B flat note so if we think we have four flat it will be A flat major or we can think, let's say this is a F minor. F minor, the seven note, it should be the E. But the E, we still have the flat. So the answer is A flat major. For the question 3.4, we need to complete the skill of F sharp minor melodic. So F sharp minor melody give you three sharps F sharp, C sharp and G sharp. And we say melody, we have to consider is it going up or going down. In this case, it's going up. So we need to raise up the six note and the seven note. So what is the six and seven note of the F? So let's count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, D and the E. So D and the E is the 6 and the 7. D and the E, there is no sharp here. So you will raise it up, become D sharp and E sharp. So that's what we need to consider. So F, G, A, B, C, D, E. D, E, you have to put the sharp because it's the raised up of the 6 and 7 note. For the question 3.5, the student need to circle one clef for each skill. So the minor skills here referring to harmony or the melody. It could be any um, of it. So let's try to name what is this note in treble clef. This is named as the B sharp. So B sharp minor. So let's check. But there is no B sharp minor, so the first one is not correct. What about this note in the bass clef? It's a D sharp. Okay, we have D sharp. So we need to know the D sharp minor, we have all the six sharp. So D, assume this is a bass clef, D, E, F. Okay. Very quickly, the third one, there is no sharp. And it's the third note. You should have the sharp, but there is no sharp. So this answer is not correct. So what is this note in alto clef? So very quickly, we can read like this way. This is the middle C. So this is a C sharp. The end is a C sharp. Beginning is the C sharp. So C sharp minor, you have four sharps. Fat cat go down. C, D, yes, E, no sharp, F, yes, G, yes, A, no, B, B could be because the seven note, C sharp, the answer is the C sharp minor in the auto clef with a seven note, B sharp. So you have a C, D, E, F, G, 
A, B, the seven will raise up because it's the harmonic skill. Next one, try to think what is this note in um, treble clef? It's the B sharp. Again, we don't have B sharp here, so the first one is not correct. What is this note in the bass clef? It's a D sharp again. So we have a D sharp. We just check it out. D sharp, you have six sharp. Let's count one by one. You can start counting from here. Um, bottom, go by the order. So starting on the D. E, yes, you have E. So we are checking out is this one. Oops. Okay, let's check out one by one. D, E, F, G, A, B no sharp, C become double sharp. Yes, because you already have a C sharp raised up again is a double sharp. And the D, the answer is the bass clef. This is the answer, yes. And the C raised up become double sharp. So when you have a C sharp, you raise it up, become C, double sharp, sharp again. So try to think, what is this note in treble clef? This is C, all right? Try to think the C minor. Okay, C minor, C minor. So C minor, you have the B flat, E flat, and A flat, this three flat. So let's try to think. C, D, E, yes. F, G, no. A, yes. B, yes. C. You go by normal because you go by as usual because it's a melody when going down, there is no changes at all. The answer is the C minor. So no changes. C, D, E flat. F, G, a flat, B flat, and of course the C. So for the question 3.6, it's about chromatic skills. So we have few rules to, uh, you must follow. For example, all notes should appear once, means that you have at least every line and every space, you should have one note, but not more than two. And starting note and end note should be the same note. Okay, so let's check out the first one, space, line, yes. You, every note should appear one time, yes, you have all the notes. Okay, so not more than two, yes, starting note and note should be the same note, yes. Flat, flat, the same. So read as the tenor clap, this is the middle C, go down, this is a B flat. You have to know this note, so you starting on the B flat. Okay, B flat, go to the A. So this is A. Then go to the A flat. Go to the G. This is a G note. And go to the G flat. Go to the F. Go to the E. Go to the E flat. Go to the D, D flat, C, B, and the B flat. Everything is correct. It's true. Second question, question B. Check it out. So you all the notes should appear once. For example, F and but not more than two. G A. Oh look, it's already break the rule. You have three notes same. Yeah, appear more than it's more than two times. So it break this rule. So the answer straight away you can circle is false. For this question, 
the student not only required to know the technical names but also important to know the key signature the median for example median in the f sharp major the third note of the f sharp the third note is the f g a is the a note okay this is not correct this is a d note it should be the a note and you should consider there is a a sharp the third note should be the a sharp so it's false d minor the seventh note one two three four five six seven is the c note yes d minor you have a c note and the seventh note of it you need to put the sharp because it's the harmony that's true b flat major subdominant is the fourth note fourth note of the b flat can count one two three four is the e note and now we need to check b flat major has b flat and e flat the fourth note is E flat so if you put the E is not correct so that's why I mentioned earlier on you not only you need to know the technical names and you also need to know the key signature chart so the answer is false for the question interval the very first step let's write down the letter name the first note in the bass clef is G and this is F. So check it out from this G to F. So the position G to F. Count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So you have 7 interval. The distance is of 7. So second step, we check the semitone. This is 0, 1. So 0, 1, 2, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. It's ten. So seven interval and ten is minor. The answer is minor. Question B. C sharp to G. So this is C sharp. This is G. And we know this is very far because it's more than octave. Because you have one more C sharp here. Yeah, so let's do it within octave C to the G. Okay, because our chart is only support within octave. So let's C to the G. Count the letter name C to the G without worrying about the semi the sharp or flat. We need to know what is the distance. One, two, three, four, five. So we have five. Fifth. Five step. Now count starting from the C sharp and this time zero one. Because this is C sharp. Zero one, two, three, four, five, six. Six semitone. So we check fifth, we check fifth, and we have six semitone. It's diminished. The answer is diminished fifth. Don't forget, we have more than octave, so we add the word compound. So the answer is this one. Or the answer it should be. Let's think that this compound is like seven. Just think that compound is like 7. So 7 plus 5 is 12. The other answer is diminished 12. So the un another answer is diminished 12. And this is correct. Next one. When you have a key signature, you must read this very carefully. If you forget to include this key signature, you can get the wrong answer. So write down the letter name A and C sharp. So the very first step, you don't have to worry about the um, sharp and flat. Just count the step. A to the C. 
A, B, C. Three steps, so you know it's third. And this time you count the semitone from the A. Zero, one. This is considered one semitone. Zero, one, two, three. Three semitones. So check the track. Third, three interval with three semitone. You get minor. Minor third is your answer. For the question 4.2 is similar to 4.1. The only thing is you don't need to worry about if this is compound or not, if this is more than octave or not. So the very first step again, write down the letter name. So this one starting from G and this is D. G to the D, you count one, two, three, four, five. It gives you fifth. So from here, you count the semitone from the G. So counting semitone, you start from the 0, 1. This one gives you one semitone. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So 7 semitone. So fifth, you got 7 semitone. It's perfect. The answer is perfect. Question B. Don't forget that you have three flats in, floor, in front. B flat, E flat, and A flat. And the first one is E flat to the A. So E to the A. The very first thing is E to the A. So E to the A. One, two, three, four. Four steps, so interval of four. And now you count the semitone from E flat. Zero, one, two, three, four, five, six. You have six. Fourth and six semitone is augmented. The answer is augmented. Question C. Write out the letter name. The very first step is a C sharp to the A. Again, it's not important to know the sharp or flat. Count the step first. So C to the A. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yes, six. And now count the semitone from a C sharp. Zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight semitone. Check the chart. You have six interval with eight semitone. That is minor. That's minor. The answer is minor. For the question 4.3, this time the student required to write a note higher than the given note. So, first thing, write down the letter name. Yes, this is starting from the B. So, the next note is the C. Yes, that is second. So, now minor second, you have to check the chart. Minor second gives you one semitone. So, that means zero, one. One semitone. So, B sharp. B sharp is here. B sharp is the C note. Go to one note. Zero, one. So this gives you the C sharp. So the answer will be C sharp. Question B. Write out the letter name. Four step up from the F sharp. Yes, F sharp, you know, F, G, A, B. It gives you the next note, it's the B. It gives you fourth. And now check the semitone from the perfect fourth. Perfect fourth gives you five semitone. Yes, five semitone. So you count from here. F sharp, zero, one, two, three, four, 
fine is the B note. The answer is stop at the B note. So it's correct. Next one. Mm. F, you have to consider the sharp. Because there is a sharp here. So it's F sharp. F sharp. Now it means that because this is more than octave, you can think is compound. Compound, you, you always can think like seven. Compound is seven. So compound major second. So seven plus two is equal to nine. Yeah, so try to think F go up second note. So F go up the second note is the G note. But you cannot draw this G. You have to draw a higher G because it's more than octave. So you draw a higher G. So F to G is second. So now you check major second. Major second is two semitones. So you start on the F sharp. So zero, one, two. It gives you this note. It's the G sharp. So give you two semitones. So the answer is G sharp. So F sharp to G sharp. It gives you compound major second. So for the next last question, question D. D minus seven. So seven steps from the D. So this is the D note. What is the seven note from the D? So you can count like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It's to the C. So this is seven. We're done. So we now we need to check out seven. Yes, the whole line. We check out. We need diminish. So diminish is here. We need nine semitone. So we need nine semitone from the D note so you're starting from here zero one two three four five six seven eight nine nine is the b note but you have to name it as c what is a c flat c flat is the same as the b note but you have to name it as c because from the d you go to the c is seven step seven interval with nine semi tone so the answer is c flat now for the question five is about the chords to start from the chords you need to know first thing these two sharps, F sharp and C sharp, this gives you what key? So F sharp and C sharp, you know that it gives you D major. Yes, that's the D major. And now, build the D major, the chords. Build the chord 1, 2, 4, 5, according to D major. So the first note is D. Second note is the E. D, E, F, no, G, and the A. So D, now you build the third note and the fifth note of every chord. D, E, F, G, A. Count one by one. E, F. G, A, B. G, A, B, C, D. A, B, C, D, E. So now, the first one, write down the letter name. B, G, B, D, C, B. When you have something stepping down, for example, in this case, D is the chord note. B is the chord note. This is called passing note. It's not considered as the chord note. So you don't have to consider a C. 
So you only consider B, you have a G, you have a D. So GBD is called 4. Write down called 4. Next one, you have an A, F, A. Yes. F and A is a chord 1. You, you use the chord 1 for this. So 4, 1. 4, 1. It gives you plagal cadence. Yeah, because we need to find the suitable chords in two cadence. In your, make sure your answer will form a cadence. It's not required, you are not required to write down the cadence, but the cadence could help you to check the answer. So make sure your answer is from this list. So you have four one is plagal. Next one. You have E, B, G, B, G. Okay, it's a repeated B and G. So you have E, G, B. Check out E, G, B chord 2. Next one. You have E, C, B, A, E, A. Yeah, this B is stepping down a step from the main note. You can... You can see this is a chord note, but this is like passing by between C and A. It's like what we discussed just now. So this one is like a passing note. So you only need to consider A, C, E. So A, C, E is called 5. So write down 5. Next one, you have a D, F, and D. So D, F. Yeah, you have a chord 1. So 5, 1 gives you perfect cadence. So make sure your answer is from the list. 5, 1 is a perfect cadence. Yeah, for the question 5.2, this time you need to know the cadence well. And of course, the easy part is they have given you all the um, key what is the key for this question and you just need to name the notes know the chords and find out the cadence cadences means the two chords at the end of the phrase so C major again you can build the uh, chart one two four five so C major one two four five Write down the first one, C, D, the first note of every chord, C, D, E, you don't need, F, and G. And now you build the third note and the fifth note, the third and the fifth note. So, C, D, E, F, G, D, E, F. G A F G A B C G A B C D So now you write down all the letter name C and the E C and the G So you give you C E G Yes chord one So write one so you have the next one D B G G G B D G B D give you chord five. So chord five one five. Everything end with five is not complete, incomplete. So one five is imperfect. The answer is imperfect. So the question B again build. The chords 1, 2, 4, 5. 1, 2, 4, 5. According to the G major. So G, A, B, no. This C, this is called for D. Now you build the third note and the fifth note. G, A, B, C, D. A, B, C, D, E, C, D, E, F, G, D, E, F, G, A. So now, 
write down the letter name. You have A, you have a D, you have a F, you have a D. D, F, A. That gives you chord 5. Next one, G, B, G, G. You have a G and the B. It gives you chord 1. 5, 1. So, do, so, do. Give you perfect. So, that's perfect. So, you can remember when you have perfect is so, do. When you have imperfect, it's the other way around. Do, so, it's not finished. Imperfect means that not finished, incomplete. For this question, the student not only need to know the chords, the student also need to know to indicate the lowest note. Let's start on E minor and build the chords 1, 2, 4, 5, like what we have done previously. 1, 2, 4, 5, start on the E. So E, second note, F, G, no, E, F, G, A, B. So now build the third note and the fifth note of each chord. Third note. E, F, G, A, B. F, G, A, B, C. A, B, C, D, E. B, C, D, E, F. So now, let's check out the first group. A is here. So write down all the Letter name again. C E C A A C E A C E is called four. So now who is the lowest note? We know that if the lowest note is the root, you call A. If the middle note, you call B. If the last note, the fifth note, is the lowest note, you call C. So in this case, A, C, E, the lowest note is the A. So it's a chord for A. Chord for A. So for A is the answer for the first one. B, question B. Let's check out the question B. Okay, write down all the Latin names. G, E, B, B. You have E, G, B. The lowest note is this one. Okay. So, we know that it's the chord 1 and the lowest note because it's the B. So, it means that the B is your lowest note here. So, when the lowest note is your um in the is the when the fifth note is your lowest note you call it c yeah so it's one c one c for the e uh for the question c sorry for the question c mm -hmm. write down the letter name you have the f b b this sharp. it doesn't matter this in this question you have the sharp or flat it doesn't really affect your answer the, the important thing is you know who is the lowest note you have the b d f b d f the lowest note is the middle note you know when the lowest note is the middle note is named as the b so it's the chord five b so 5B is your answer for this question. For the question 6, it's about terms, signs, and instruments. You need to memorize the list from the ABRSM yeah, that recently released in Italian words. So Morento, Morento, it means dying away the piece of music is dying away usually happen at the end of the piece like getting slower 
less energy and softer so that's dying away asai asai means very it could be like any words like asai allegro very fast retinue 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 is like you held back slow down so take note very slow and held back is different this one is like getting slower it's like similar meaning as wit retardando retinue is the same held back as for the 6.2, usually it's about ornaments. They will be are uh, written out of the ornaments and the student need to know what, uh, what is this ornament. This one, the short line here means playing very fast. Dram in the music. Dram very fast. So it's achakachura. Achakachura usually is playing fast. Apochatura usually is playing slow. We like two notes play evenly. Trill, we know that we will have an alternate type. Two notes, up, down, up, down. Usually at the end, like you will end. Di -da -da -dum. So you have da dum, da dum, da 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 dum. Lower more than usually is three notes. You have a lower notes here. So da da dum. Usually this is three notes. So the answer is a check it to run. Question B is also very straightforward. Da di da di dum. So you can see the shaping is like a turn. Going down like a roller coaster. This is a upper turn. Lower more than we have. Okay, for upper more than it will be think in this way. So you have upper notes here. So usually it's by three notes. We have discussed the trill. We have discussed about the lower modern. The answer is upper turn for this question. For the question 6.3 is about answer true or false for each of the question over here. So the first question A. The viola is the highest sounding string instrument. So you need to know the order of the string instrument very well. Violin, viola, cello, double bass. The first one is violin. So it's not a viola. So it's supposed to be violin. So it's false. Tuba can be played consort. Consort means with mute. Yes, tuba, you can play with mute. Yes, this is tuba. You can play with mute. Yes, it's true. Tambourine produced indefinite pitch. Indefinite means that no pitch. So no pitch, tambourine. Indefinite pitch, true. Una coda, this is a term we always use in the piano, you know, the pedal, the foot pedal. Una coda means that you press the left pedal, you use the left pedal. Left pedal. It's not the use of sustaining pedal. Sustaining pedal is the right pedal, so it's force. Una coda is you press the left pedal. Bassoon is the brass family. Bassoon is not the brass family because the brass family is trumpet, horn, trombone, and tuba. Bassoon is the woodwind family. So this is false. It should be woodwind family. For the question 7.1, it's according to... um the context and answer a question so usually they ask you to compare the following abc with one of the bar in this case is the bar five bassoon part you can read in this way this is bassoon part and this is a piano part yes you can see the bracket here it means the piano part so bassoon bar five is over here so let's highlight it so that it's easier for us to read later on so let's build the chart like previously what we have done in the pitch question so the middle c for the treble clef you need to know very well treble clef with the middle c means the same c we are referring 
So this is the treble clef middle C. And auto clef the middle C is here. And tenor clef middle C is here. And you have a bass clef middle C is here. Yes, so the middle C is here. This is the middle C, okay? You have a question A. This A is above the middle C. Above the middle C means going to the right. And this is your question A. Question B. This A is C, B, A. Three steps going down from the middle C. This is the question B. Question C. So question C. The middle C is C, D, E, F, G, A. It's the same as the question A. So this is also the C. Question C. And now let's see where is the bar 5. Bar 5 is C. You go, you have one A here. You have another A. So this one is not one three step down from the middle C, C, B, A. No, it's not the same position as this one. It's even much lower, one octave lower. So this is bar 5. Bar 5. So let's check it out. For this question, so we are comparing A, B, C with this bar 5. Okay, A and C correctly, correctly written two octaves higher than the bar 5. The bar 5 here to here is one octave. One more octave. Yes, A and C is two octave. Is correct. So we check out what happened to the, the rest of the answer. Only B will correctly written two octave higher two octave higher than bar five no it's just one octave it's one octave this is one only c is re correctly written two octave higher no it's a and c a b c no we shouldn't group a b c together because they are totally in different position so the answer is the first one for the question 7.2, it tells you the general knowledge according to this music context. Right, they say the music ends on the dominant chord of A minor. First, you need to know what is dominant. Dominant is the fifth chord. What is the fifth chord of the A? So, just go A, B, C, D, E. Is the E. And is the E. And how do you form the chord? Do you remember? You build as the first, third, and the fifth. Third note and the fifth note. E, F, G, A, B. So you check out the last. Is it E, G, B? E, B, E, G. Yes, it's E, G, B. Yes, it's true. The answer is true. There is question B. There is a modern in bar 3 of the bassoon part. So you know how to read bassoon part is here. There is a modern. So you need to know the symbol of modern. Yes, that's true. Question C. There are two times in bassoon part. Bassoon. Yes, let's check out how many time notes that you have. Tie note referring the same note. This is one tie note. This is slur. Okay, this is slur. This is slur. This is slur. This is slur. This is another long tie note. Yes, there are two tie notes. Yes. True. The music should play. Question D. The music should play at medium speed. Ah, danjo. So you need to know this term. Adanjo means slow. It should be slow speed, but not medium speed. So it's force. This one, 
Arpeggiation means to spread the notes of the chords from bottom. Yes, you play the notes from the lowest to the highest, from bottom to the top. So you spread it quickly. Yes, it's true. For the question 7.3, they usually ask you which instrument best suit to play the bassoon part. So we need to know the bassoon part is using the bass clef. So which instrument is using bass clef? And the bassoon is located the lowest part of the woodwind. It's over here. It's the lowest note. Lowest part, I mean. The lowest instrument. So... We know that the cello, yes, is in the middle somewhere. To confirm your answer, trumpet, no, it's the highest look. So trumpet is using a treble clef, so no. Oboe, oboe is higher than woodwind, no. Oboe is considered high instrument. Viola, so you only left viola and cello. If you understand, viola is a special uh, instrument that use alto clef. So the one using bass clef is cello. So the answer is the first one, cello. So for 7.4, they asked you like how many times does the supertonic in the key of A minor appear in the bassoon part? So bassoon part, we are going to check for the bassoon part is over here. Yes, it's over here. So we need to know the supertonic, it means the second note of the A. So second of the A minor, A, B is the B note. We are referring the B note. Okay, don't forget we are reading as a bass clef. We are looking for the bass clef, the B note. So we know that you have a B note over here. You have a B note over here. Of course, you have something like very low. It's a low B flat over here. Uh, so, so it's B note, sorry, not B flat. So you have one. Yeah, check out one by one. Two, three, four, four times, four times supertonic in the key of A minor. For the question 7.5, you need to answer two sentences according to the context. There is a crescendo, crescendo. And diminuendo happen in which bar? So it's bar five, very obviously it appear in one bar. So the rhythm, yes, the rhythm, you know, and the articulation it means like symbol what like staccato legato in bassoon part bar five. So we check out you have a four quiver and you have a quiver and quiver rest you have four quiver quiver and quiver rest your symbol is the same you know the rhythm is the same you have a slur five modes yes followed by a quiver the symbol is the same so other than that there is nothing same as bar five so the answer is bar six so these two bar the same bar, bar 6 is your answer. That's the end of the question set B.